Hey Marys, what's up birds? It's me again, Ronan, and welcome back to my channel. Hey everyone, so how are you guys doing? Welcome back. <laughs> okay, it's been two weeks since the last time na lumabas ako ng bahay. Actually, since na lumabas ako ng gate. We're doing okay, I'm just grateful, I'm just thankful na okay naman lahat dito sa bahay at the same time yung family ko. Of course guys, andyan pa rin yung ano, no? yung, yung, yung fear, andyan pa rin yung, yung anxiety, but it, it, it's not as uh, severe as it was before na talagang very constant siya because of the fear na baka mamaya mag, magkakaroon ako ng COVID-19. Um, since magto-two weeks na rin naman ako mahigit na hindi lumalabas ang bahay, so medyo nagsasubside na siya, no? Um, since na ginagawa ko naman yung yung mga, yung routine ko, ginagawa, nakafocus ako doon. So, in, yung yung mind ko na ano siya, na um, nadidistract siya dahil doon sa mga routine na ginagawa ko, yung sa mga task na ginagawa ko, na in-assign ko for myself to do. Yung mga to-do list ko, no? So, Ayun, okay naman. So, kamusta kayo guys? I hope everyone is safe. I hope na nasa bahay lang kayo, no? I know it's very, very hard. Especially right now na nagkakaubosan ng food. Siyempre, in, hindi enough yung mga pinamili natin. Wala pang work. Though, I'm sure some of you nag-work at home then kagaya sa akin, work from home yun, kagaya sa akin sorry guys, medyo nawawala na ako ng boses hindi ko alam kung bakit, sa so, sobrang init siguro ng panahon <clears throat> but anyway yun, so I hope you're doing well and I hope you're doing okay and just breathe okay, I know na <laughs> ano yung takot, hindi naman nawawala yun, ako yeah, ako din talaga natatakot pero of course mina mindset ko na I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be okay. At everything, kung ano-ano lang naman, kung ano-ano yung mga naisip ko, nasa isip ko lang yan. And I know that I'm doing the right thing for staying at home and I'm sumusunod tayo, di ba? Di ba nga? <laughs> oh my God! Kaya pa ba ito matatapos? Parang ang tagal-tagal. I know. Hindi pa tayo nagpipit, no? Parang siguro abot pa tayo ng buwan nito, no? We're just not sure. Sana nga matapos na. So, what are we going to do right now? Uh, para maiba naman dun sa mga normal na video ko, di ba? So, let's have some, ano, parang uh, Q&A. Parang ganon. Pero, ano to, parang some facts about myself. So, I, I may nahanap ako mga questionnaire online. So, I hope, um, it's like, getting to know me. Parang ganyan. <laughs> Nakakahiya. Very narcissistic yung ano na to, ano, ano, video na to ngayon. Kasi parang, it's all about myself. But anyway, this is my channel. So, let's do this. <laughs> anyway, so, these are the questions that I've got online. So, I'm not sure ilang questions to. But, let's try to browse. And, I'll do my best to answer some of them. Or most of them, no? So, let's start now. Um, by the way, hi guys, my name is Ronan Tristan. That's my second name. I have two names actually. My, 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 my yung pakal ko talaga is Ronan Tristan. Yung last name ko is Bangis. Bangis, parang ganyan. <laughs> o diba? Napaka-contradicting. <laughs> but anyway, so these are the questions. Um, where, number one, question number one, where did you grow up? I grew up in Valencia City in Bukidnon. So I grew up in the 80s, guys. Um, during those times, that was a parang a stopover town palang no yung Valencia City. Hindi pa siya city ng time na yon. So, number two, where did uh, where do you currently live? I live right now here in Makati, sa South Sembo. Malapit ako sa BGC, guys. Malapit ako jan sa ano uh, Uptown Mall. Um, number three, number three, <laughs> number three, um, who is your first best friend? My first best friend, hi Jong, her name is Chris, uh, Chrisel, but we call her Jong. 
Um, she's one of the bravest uh, person na, that I know. She's now in Canada. Hi, Jong. I hope na napanood mo to. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm not tall. So sad, no? I'm not, <laughs> so sad talaga. Yeah, I'm not tall. I'm only 5'5". Five, five. I'm short. So, dogs or cats? Dogs. We have two. So, we have Princess and we have Cordelia. Um, six fa number six, funniest moment throughout high school. <laughs> okay, so during our PE, I think I was uh, 40 high school na yata ito, we played basketball. Guys, I don't have sports. Siguro yung kaya ko lang talagang i-played is badminton. Which is later ko na lang yun natutunan. But of course, nung high school, may mga PE ganyan. So... Ano ba yung mga normally na pinaglalaro lalo nung time na yun, in the 90s. No? So, basketball talaga yung pinakasikat. So, we played basketball. Can you imagine? Oh my God, can you imagine? That was the funniest, the craziest, the most embarrassing moment na ginawa ko talaga. And, hindi na naman naulit yun. So, if I have uh, mga high school na kaklase ko na nanonood ngayon, napanood niyo yung galaro kong yun na nakakalo ka talaga. <laughs> Okay, number seven, what year were you born? I will be dating myself, no? So, you do the math, 1981. Um, number eight, are you in, have you, are you in or have you gone to college? Um, yes, I have a, a, no, a bachelor degree in psychology. And number nine, what is your favorite drink? Water. Um, what is your spirit, animal, and why? Oh my gosh. Para itong Patronus Charm. Ganyan ba yun sa Harry Potter? <laughs> ano pong ano ko? Uh, siguro dove. Kasi it's a symbol of peace. And I want to fly. Yun. And you're wearing perfume. What scent is it? Hindi ko sasabihin. Kasi I... <laughs> I have, ano, I, may, may mga people sa office that are asking me about my scent. So, hindi ko sasabihin, but of, I have, ano, I have Clinic Happy for Men, I have Eternity. Uh, one of my favorite is Pleasures for Men, yun. But yung daily na ginagamit ko, hindi ko sasabihin. <laughs> Sorry. 12, tea or coffee? Uh, both. Uh, Every day, I drink coffee, but then, mostly in the afternoon, I drink tea. Um, pero mas mostly coffee. Um, number 13, what are your life goals? My life goals? To be a published novelist. I want to publish a book. I want to publish my own novel. I want to see my book in the shelves. Though I already self-published a book. Pero of course, ako lang naman yun. And it doesn't actually go anywhere because wala naman nakakakilala sa akin. So, but anyway, Hopefully, hi! Kasi na may mga publisher dyan na nanonood ng video. And if you, want to, uh, if you want to see my book, let me know. I'll send you the manuscript. <laughs> Have any books you read changed your life? Um, yes. Um, the book, uh, the, uh, it's, uh, no, it's, it's a um, The Vampire's Chronicle by Anne Rice. So, your entire series of Vampire's Chronicle ni Anne Rice. So before I know Anne Rice, the author Anne Rice, I, 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 I've known her books. Parang gano. So a friend of mine in college, uh, siya yung nag sa akin. I can remember it clearly. It's Queen of the Dam yung binigay niya sa akin. So during a little background, guys, when I was in college, I was very parang... I love to talk to people. So it's probably why I enjoy my yung kurso ko na psychology. Uh, major because I enjoy talking to people no on so what if session ganyan I have questions about life question about like, my existence question about me about my ano ba talaga yung goal ko kung ano ba talaga yung the reason why I'm here ganyan ganyan so a friend of mine you know you have these questions why don't you read this book so yun uh, during those times hindi ko pa kilala si Anne Rice so parang when I read her book and um, I was introduced to the vampires, of course. And I realized that, you know, these vampires, parang they represent me. Na parang I'm an outsider, trying my best to be inside the circle. But then, 
I'm different, parang ganyan. So, I, parang I resonated so much with those characters. So, parang yun. And then later on, nung pinapalo ko na si Anne Rice sa Facebook niya, then I realized na parang yun nga yung reason kung bakit niya sinulat yung libro na yun. Because for her, the, 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 the vampires, parang for her, na parang siyang metaphor for the outsides in all of us. I no, metaphor for the outsiders in all of us. So parang parang gusto kong pumasok sa utak ng babaeng to. Gusto kong malaman ko anong nandun sa loob ng isip niya. Yun. So pa, so doon nag-start yun. So The Vampire's Chronicle, the entire series, they totally changed my life. They totally saved me from a lot of crazy things when I was still young. Because instead of doing those stuff, I read the, I nagbabasa na lang ako ng libro. Yun. So, next, what is your favorite movie? Well, I don't have a particular movie, no, na favorite. Um, I'm a fan fantasy fiction geek, no? So, of course, I grew up in the 80s, so yung mga movies na talagang nasa isip ko is yung, um, Never Ending Story, ganyan, ganyan. Uh, Splash. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar yung si Daryl Hannah na mermaid siya, ganyan. Of course, the never-ending story. At kung ano-ano pang mga uh, crawl, scroll, parang ganun. There's a lot of uh, great fantasy fiction movies in the 80s, actually. And then, dumaan din ako sa stage when I was in college naman na uh, romantic, parang rom-com naman yung mga favorite na movie ko. At those time, um, si Katsi, Marisa Tomei, so only you, yung ganon. Um, when a man loves a woman, uh, what is untamed heart? Uh, of course, uh, the classics, no? So, yun, um, what else? What are your favorite YouTubers? What are my favorite YouTubers? Marami. Marami akong pinafollow YouTubers, guys. Uh, most of them, hindi celebrity. Though, may mga pinafollow din ako mga celebrity. Ako kasi gusto kong tumawa. And then, I want a YouTuber na parang, parang for me, nakaka-relate ako sa kanila. Yung tipong ganun. So, hindi sila yung tipong mga celebrity talaga. Na mga artista. So, siguro the BNT, Gang, I totally enjoy their vlog. Tawa lang ako ng tawa. Si Lloyd, Cafe Cadena. Basta mostly, si Mimiya. Yun. Mostly, ano sila, yung mga um, hindi celebrity. Yung mga parang, they mark their name in YouTube by just doing their stuff. Parang ganun. To, just to entertain all of us na ginawa nila sila, sila lang. Yun. So, yun yung mga pinafollow ko. Yun yung mga paborito ko mga YouTuber. Hindi talaga yung mga celebrity. So, what else? Do you speak any languages and how well? Um, not really. Wala. Siguro dialect. Ilonggo tsaka Bisaya. Um, are you single or taken? I'm taken. I mean, a long-term relationship. Until now. Thank you, Lloyd. Anyway, um, what is your idea of your dream date? My idea of a dream day. For me, right now, ha, if you want to ask me, my I don't actually have an ideal uh, day. For me, as long as I'm with that person. As long as I'm with that person at magkasama kami, regardless of kung saan kami pumunta, that's the ideal day for me. Um, that's a dream date for me. As long as magkasama lang kami and we talk about a lot of stuff, ganyan, tatawa lang tawa lang kami ng tawa, ganyan, and hini-enjoy lang naman yung bawat isa. So, for me, it doesn't matter kung saan yung lugar, as long as magkasama lang. Yun na yung pinaka-dream date ko. How long was your longest relationship? I think the current, no, um, we're running mag-14 years na kami this April. Um, how would you describe your fashion sense, baduy? <laughs> Um, I'll go for comfort most of the time. So, kuha lang ako ng kuha sa drawer. So, I don't know. I'm not really into fashion. So, I'm so sorry. Okay, so number 23. What is your go-to hairstyle? This. Or kalbo. Because I don't have enough hair na guys to have a hairstyle. So, eto na lang talaga yung kinakaya ng buhok ko. <laughs> 
how I wish no na meron pa akong makapal na buhok. So that I can play around with my hair but well, eto nang eto na siya. Eto na siya. Yan na yan yan. <laughs> how many siblings do you have? Um tatlo kami. I'm the eldest but the second si Ate, siya yung parang mas ano, mas mature siya yung mas So, parang I'll have her take the eldest ano part. Na I'll be the youngest na lang kung pwede. <laughs> okay, 25. What is your go-to fast food order? Falafel. Oh my god. Kumimis ko na tuloy. I promise myself na pagkatapos ng nito lahat na naka-survive tayo and we're good. Ang bukas na lahat ng mga store pupunta ako sa falafel store o order ako and then order ako ng ulong green tea or ulong fresh tea sa chat time. May pipig out ako. Promise. <laughs> do, you have, do you use PC or a Mac? I have a laptop. Windows yan. I can't afford a Mac. Sorry. Hmm. Your most memorable vacation memory yung Taiwan. So, yung last, ano ko, guys, yung last uh, video ko about my Taiwan trip. So, hindi lahat, hindi ko lang kasi lahat na video kan lahat ng mga, ano, na mga lugar na napuntahan namin. Kasi talagang sobrang in-enjoy ko lang talaga siya. But, yeah, yun yung Taiwan, one of most, uh, my, my, my most memorable, ano, uh, vacation. Kasi, it's my first time going out of the country. Um, what are your morning, evening routines? Of course, before I go to sleep, moisturize, di ba? Moisturize, toner, moisturize. Most of the time, naliligo muna ako. Naliligo ako, then after dinner, naliligo ako, then moisturize, then a toner muna, moisturize, and then I drink siguro two glass of water before I go to bed. In the morning naman, I, do, I started my day with a prayer. So, Walang palya yun. I started my day with a prayer and then I punta ako ng ano, kusina, kuha ko ng malaking yung glass ko doon. Umiinom ako ng tubig, dalawang, dalawang ganito, ganito kalaki na ano, na glass. So yun yung pinaka-ritual ko before I, siguro mga 30 minutes bago ako mag-breakfast. Yun. Eto. Eto. Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. I am obsessive compulsive sometimes. Uh, <laughs> Also, obsessive compulsive in the sense na, let's say, ilalak ko na yung door, alam ko nang nakalak siya, tapos parang, the back of my mind, may nagsasabi pa sa akin, hindi pa siya ina, hindi pa siya lak. So, iulit-ulit ko yung ganyan, lalabas ako, umabot sa time na yun na, nasa labas na ako, malayo na ako, kailangan babalik pa ako, kasi hindi convinced yung isip ko na nalak ko yung door. Bumalik ako ng dalawang beses, para lang check na nakalak talaga yung door. Parang ganon. Eto, uh, what is your favorite Netflix show? Actually, shows. Kasi, ang dami. Ang dami ko pinapanood ngayon eh. Hindi ko pa rin tapos yung Riverdale. Hindi ko pa rin tapos yung How to Get, How to get Away with Murder. Of course, Kingdom. My gosh, natapos ko na yung Kingdom na season 2. Um, Vampire, yung uh, Vampire in Paris. Na bago lang ngayon. The Witcher. Mostly fantasy fiction. Yun. Eto, what is your favorite genre of films and why? Fantasy fiction. Even in books, fantasy fiction. Um, I don't know, no? Um, probably because I grew up in the 80s nga and then during those times, wala, walang ibang, walang ganap. So, I, I developed this, I became a, ano, parang um, daydreamer. Ganon. So, I created a paracasm. Parakasam, guys, is like uh, a universe or uh, when you were a kid, you created a, parang your safe place in your head. And then as you grow older, lumalaki, lumalaki yung place na yun na parang siyang naging universe na siya inside your head. Every time na you're alone, every time you're lonely, you go back to that place and you'll feel okay. Parang ganun. It's, a, it's, it's called Parakasam. So I created those in my head na parang it's a beautiful uh, parang it's a beautiful place, ganyan, hanggang lumaki ako, dala-dala ko siya, na if you go inside and you look inside my paracasm, it's a universe. <laughs> Nadadagdagan, nadadagdagan siya, parang lumaki na siya, it's a universe, it's an empire, ganyan. So, it's probably big. So, yun, um, siguro dun ka na-develop yun, na parang, 
it's a great escape for me na fantasy fiction. And then, in the 80s kasi ang daming fantasy fiction films, di ba? So, ang dami kong napapanood na fantasy fiction films during those times. Na sobrang enjoy na enjoy ako. I think favorito ko talaga yung never ending stories during those times. Like, How to Date with an Angel. I'm not sure kung napanood yun, no? yun na, yun na yun. Um, How to Date with an Angel story. Pan angel na parang ano siya, lagalag siya ng angel and then tatamaan siya ng satellite, bumagsak sa dito sa lupa, bumagsak, bumagsak siya sa swim, swimming pool ng isang guy. And then the guy fell in love with the, with the angel and the angel fell in love with the guy. And then at the end of the story, parang si angel bumalik siya sa langit but then bumalik din siya sa lupa sa human being. Parang ganun, that's the story. So it's a very beautiful film. Tsaka ang ganda ng angel. Yung, I don't know, pasa ang ganda niya, ang ganda ng pagkagawa ng film. Mm, what are your pet peeves? Pet peeves, um, pranks. Ayoko ng pinapranks. Ayoko rin makakita ng taong napapahiya. So kahit sa movie, kahit sa TV, that's why I don't normally go to a parang comedy bar na pag ang team is na uh, kumukuha ng tao sa audience tapos pinapahiya tapos pinagtatawanan hindi ako comfortable doon I tried really but hindi ko talaga kaya that's why I normally enjoy western comedians kasi they can just may monologue lang sila na ginagawa they don't have to use audiences para pagtawanan um, ayoko ng pinapranks na parang yung yung fear ko katatawanan ng iba yung tipong ganun yung kakahiyan kinahiyan naging kahihiyan ba ko? Naging katatawanan sa iba parang ganun. So, I don't do that to people as well. Kaya ayokong gawin sa akin. I don't prank people. Ayokong mamahiya ng tao. Kasi ayoko rin gawin yun sa akin. Yun. Yun yung pet peeves ko. Ito, what is the biggest struggle you overcame? Kung napanood, if you uh, go back dun sa mga pinakaunang videos ko pa, I talk about uh, the topic I think is flirting with depression. So I had that uh, experiences uh, when I was still in college. So I'm so grateful that I overcame that and hindi ko talaga na develop yung depression. I had a glimpse of that darkness and it's very very dark and it's very very scary. I don't want to be there anymore. That's why I feel, uh, parang I, I feel you guys. So those people who's um, watching my video, na may mga issues with depression, I really feel you. What I have is only anxiety, and it's nothing compared to unsa depression in you. And I salute you, na every day, you wake up in the morning and you malaban kayo, laban lang talaga. So yun. Who is your role model? My role model. My mom, I guess. Kasi my mom is one of the ano, strongest human being na nakilala ko. My father died when I was 7 years old and that was in the late 80s, I guess. I think, oh. And can you imagine? Diba? Dinala niya kami. Tatlo kami. Siya lang. Of course, there's a help with my other family, some mother side then. Pero, I can't imagine. I've seen her in her lowest. Takita ko siyang humagol-gol nung bata pa ako sa bahay namin. And it wasn't easy for her. And I'm so proud of my mom. My gosh, magkakaiyakan pa tayo dito. <laughs> okay, anyway guys, that's all for now. So, sana naman na-enjoy niyo yung uh, video na ito. No, if you have questions about me. <laughs> Let me know. Or kung ano man yung gusto nyo pang pag-usapan in the future on the next uh, vlog. But anyway, thank you. Thank you so much. Uy, sa mga bago nating subscriber guys, salamat ha. Thank you and nakaka, ano, nakakataba ng puso na na-enjoy nyo yung content and yung mga messages ninyo na parang napapagaan napapagaan ng mga videos yung 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 kalooban ninyo at naliliwanagan kayo dun sa issue ng